Morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Harndorf Football Club here at the uh, German Arms Oval, newly named Oval. This is the inaugural Corns Toyota and uh, Harndorf Football Club report which is going to go out to uh, people throughout the club. Sharon's our uh, canteen manager. What's on special today, love? What do you got? What do you recommend? We've got the hot dogs. Yes. They're pretty popular. Yes. And hot chips. Hot chips. Yes, and you're ready for a busy day? Yes, mm. we are all organised. Beautiful, beautiful. Ladies doing the chips and young uh, young Lucy's on the chips today and mum's on the on the barbecue. Morning girls. <laughs> How are you going? This lovely couple is the uh, the wife and the daughter of the uh, bar manager and also the guy that does all our sponsorship. So uh, they're very involved in the club and lovely people and really good workers. Sponsorship's been good. Thanks Graham. Yep. Uh, be one of the better years we've had. Uh, we've just picked up an oval sponsor, so the German Arms Oval, so that's been very good. Jenny, who's uh, also the assistant canteen manager, we'll call her, and her lovely daughter up there. Jen's in charge of the hot dogs. She makes a beautiful hot dog. Have a look at that cheese, sauce, mustard, no doubt everything on that lot. Looking forward to today's trial? Absolutely, Kays. Um, obviously, they're a really strong outfit. Div 1 Premiers last year. Just looking at the twos game now, they've started really, really strongly in the twos. They're yeah, a really deep club, and it'll be a great hit out for us um, 14 days out from round one, no doubt. This young lady takes all our club photos and does a fantastic job of them. And Put some up on Facebook and... Uh, I try. Yeah, <laughs> Janine, she's uh, very good at her job too, does a great job. She's got two boys that play, or three boys well, that play. Well, two this two year, this one of them wants to motorbike ride, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, and her husband was a very good footballer here for the oh, club years ago. Right? Our merchandise manager. Karen Judd. Good morning, Gray. All of our club merch has come through from Nelson's Teamwear. Uh, you can also order online on our website, which is great. Doing that this year it makes it a lot easier for me. But um, it's great seeing all the young ones, everyone out in their club colours. These uh, young guys here just played a trial game. Uh, it was an internal, wasn't it, boys? Against, yeah, against uh, each other. How'd you go? Who won? Green or black and white? Green. The Bibs won. Who, who played well? Charlie, yeah, I, I heard uh, Charlie got. A few goals, so that was very good, Charlie. Once again, thanks to Corns Toyota, who are going to donate this rugged Hilux vehicle for uh, for our volunteer of the week. They're going to get this vehicle for a week. Um, it's very, very nice of uh, Corns Toyota. We've chosen Dave Mosley this week to receive this award. David is a guy that's never any problem to uh, to do something. You ask Dave, can you do this, can you do that? And he does it. He would have spent probably 25 to 30 hours here this week. We built a new shed over the other side of the oval. He's put a handrail in at the club rooms. Um, Mr. Moe's just, Mr. Moe, he just loves uh, helping out the club and never expects any thanks or any money for it. And uh, so it's a great, going to be a great thing for him to get the rugged Hilux ute for a week and uh, enjoy. Go out a rugged. And it's going to go to the volunteer of the week right. for our footy club. Right. right. Yep. So Squidgy and I have nominated you oh, okay. to have this vehicle for a week. Oh right. That's what I wanted you for. There was no right. photos or anything just <laughs> to tell you that you can okay. have this right. vehicle, vehle for, vehle a for a week. Okay. Yeah. All right. right. And we're going to do it every week. We're going to uh, or every home game. We're going to do this sto these stories. Right. And okay. uh, so the volunteer of that month will get to drive this around. So. Okay. All right. Well done, okay. mate. Good on you. Oh, it looks new inside. So what are you driving at the moment? Uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. Oh, there you go. <laughs> some new guys in this year. We're quite excited about some of the recruits we've picked up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I mean, the obvious ones, obviously, Jared Petrenko and, and Rigby Barnes. So both of those guys, you know, really clean users and can play a number of roles, both of them, really. So we'll, we'll find out as we go how best to use them. Dylan Hopgood, back from Loverville, back to his home club. A really clever, small forward. And then a host of guys back from Sturt. Um, so Zach Rivel, um, Xavier Parker Bores, Cooper Hoff, and those guys yeah. again just add, add more depth to us. So Ron Tawney, our head trainer and uh, all-round good guy. Ron <laughs> is another one of those blokes like Mr Mo that just spends so many hours here at the club, just doing little bits. Ron painted this whole building by himself, and it took him probably what three weeks, Ron? Yeah, good, good three weeks to a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know just things like that. Like people just bob up and start doing stuff and. And being the head trainer, Ronnie, do you, do you find that a, a big responsibility? Uh, yeah, it is a huge responsibility. I guess I spend, as you know, Graham, yeah. about 20 hours a week in the role. Obviously work on Tuesdays, Thursday nights, yeah. and all day on Saturday. Yeah. yeah, so. Welcome, well, it's not welcome, Arnold. You've been here three years now, haven't yeah, you? So third year, yeah, third year. Third year. 
and uh, appointed captain this year must have been a thrill. Yeah, absolutely. It's obviously an honour that I, I don't take lightly. So to be obviously only here for three years, it's upon reflection, I've obviously had a good impact. So yeah. I'm pretty proud of that. You must that have pulled some strings somewhere. You know, you, you know captaincy doesn't get handed out here very lightly. Well, that's right. I'll fix you up <laughs> later on. <laughs> yeah. Come back from the Crows. Can you perhaps just fill us in a bit on your on your junior years? I don't want you here all day, by the way. It's only. A quick interview, all right? It's a, it's, a, it's a long story, mate. No, I uh, started here when I was, I don't know, four or five, I think it was, and I used to annoy you back in the day, and 30 years later, I'm still doing the same thing, so. I obviously went down to Sturt and played a bit of footy at Adelaide, back home and loving it. It's my favourite club in the world. I come over here with Matt, and I, I grew up in, in country Victoria, so I really wanted that that club feel and um, get back to the sort of country roots and this club's delivered on that immensely and I've had my family come over here and they've just praised the club on yeah. how good it's ran so credit to you and, and in terms of helping the kids um, you know I know growing up I would have loved to have the help of a couple of AFL players Matty Yench is just walking in now to, to support those kids through their junior ranks. It's pretty exciting for the club and yourself that first night that you loved at training the Channel 9 News was here and someone else was here Yench back to Handorf you must have been excited. It was bloody, I was pumped. It's um, really something I th used to think about all the time. Um, you know, just at footy, I um, used to just, just want to come back and play at Harnival. I was really jealous of all the boys, you know. I obviously won the flag the year before, and obviously my dad was my idol, so I sort of grew up watching him play in flags, and I, that's all, I just wanted to be like him. So yeah. and to come back and win flags, and um, it's been great, and no, it's really exciting. So obviously, Jared Petrenko and Rigby Barnes have, have come over this year, played with Rigby last week in our first trial, but this is Jared's first crack at it today so really looking forward really excited to what he can deliver to our footy club and we've actually got a few um, young fellas that are Handorf locals that have come into to the team back from the Sturt ranks so really looking forward to what they, those guys can deliver. Well where do we start? Um, we've got Troy Parker Bores who uh, needs a muzzle uh, every time uh, he has a beer or not even a beer. Kyle Cheney he's a bit of a character. Yeah. Nick Ingram, oh, geez, I could go on all day but it's a great club and lots of fun, lots of banter and we basically just have fun in this yeah. club. We just basically just sort of just try and have as much fun as we can and yeah. um, that's pretty uh, conducive with winning I would have thought. Yeah. Best of luck for the season. Thanks mate. I'm sure that we've got to bring home four in a row, don't we? We'll just worry about round one and then we'll move, we'll move no, on with the rest. On, we get, we'll go top, we'll be right. We'll see how we go. Thanks, Goldie. Thanks. Yeah, the best flag's the next one, so yeah. hopefully that's this year. Yeah. But um, no, obviously last year was pretty special, but yeah. God, I don't know. They're all pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know. They are, yeah. Okay, thanks, Matt. Thanks for your time, mate. Sludgy. And uh, have a good year. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Once again, thanks to uh, Corns Toyota for this uh, little bit of filming. They're doing a great job with the club. They're very valued sponsors. Don't forget, we'll be around. Uh, we're going to be doing this once a month, so uh, our next home game will be on the 17th of April. Um, that'll be home game. Ladies' Day that day, so we should get some uh, pretty good vision in the marquee of the, uh, of the women that day.